Hola, buenos dias. Day 18 from the beautiful Camino. Last day walking. Insights from the Camino inspired by <laughs> what just happened right now. I was walking and there were some, we recently had a lot of rain, downpours, and there were some massive puddles, huge, long, going on for a long time, mud puddles. And because I'm walking in my flip-flops right now, there was no way that I could get over it. I would just have to walk straight through it and then my feet would be all muddy and slippery and you know, that causes potentially more injuries. So a nice pilgrim saw me standing there looking at the mud puddle wondering what to do. And they just picked me up, carried me straight through and then put me down. I thought, that's awesome. Wow, thank you. And then within the same couple minutes, I was going through this tiny little trail between lots of water and puddles and this big group of men, male pilgrims, like 15 of them were coming the other way and I was ready to cross but they saw me instead they jumped ahead and pushed in front of me to go first and I thought well that's not very gentlemanlike but what's interesting is both of those happen within the, the same couple minutes. How you show up on the Camino which is simply a metaphor, it's an opportunity to experience a different way of life, but how you show up on the Camino is how you show up in life. I don't get it when people say, well, this is business and this is personal. Well, you have two split different personalities? No. Um, and so when I see people on the Camino, this gives me an indication of how they, they are in their lives as well. I remember last year, I had some of the nicest, this year too, little albergue owners that were just so nice, so kind, and pilgrims that would give me food and water when I ran out, go out of their way to help, be very kind. Then I also had my pole stolen on the third day. I had someone steal my personal journal. I saw a lot of pilgrims out there that wanted to kind of like stalk me, clingers that were in really negative moods all the time. So how you show up on the Camino is how you show up in life. It's an indication and it's magnified, which makes it even more fascinating. You know, people can only hide who they really are. So far behind fancy social media or writing or pretty pictures, <laughs> sitting behind a desk, being a certain way. You know, you force somebody into a somewhat stressful, but definitely discomfort, an uncomfortable situation for an extended period of time. Woo! The real character is gonna come out. The Camino is humbling, <laughs> very humbling. I think it is a brilliant idea for couples before they get married to go walk a Camino together because they're going to quickly find out deep, true character, certain things you you can't hide, you can't fake it anymore, especially under, you know, duress, stress, discomfort, you know, knocked out of homeostasis, you quickly find out the real character of people. So if in life one is complaining or constantly negative or putting other people down, feeling superior, you know, I'm better, better country, or, you know, even obsessed with their physical appearance, all of that's gonna show up on the Camino. How you show up in life is how you show up in all things. <laughs> it just exacerbates or magnifies it even more. So if you are loving, kind, patient to all people, if you're a true leader, that's how you're gonna show up as well. It's a great opportunity to learn about others. Most importantly, to learn about yourself really truly see how you're showing up in life. Play Camino.